Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here. It's a great day to make a YouTube video because I have these new Hyper Real Glow face palettes for MAC. These will be a part of the permanent line and they'll be launching in stores and online in the US on February 15th. They'll be available internationally in select stores sometime in February. So make sure you contact your local MAC store to see if they're gonna have these in stock. The Hyper Real Glow palettes will retail for $39.50 US and $47.50 Canadian. The outer packaging is just a clear plastic box. There's absolutely nothing printed on this, which I actually really like because when outer packaging is really pretty, I feel compelled to save it. And these, I don't feel bad at all just throwing right in the recycling bin. The packaging of the palette itself is gorgeous. It's a heavy duty cardboard and it has a matte black, but it's not the soft touch matte like the NARS packaging where it feels almost rubberized. These are just a smooth black matte cardboard so they will be really easy to wipe clean. The front has this gorgeous foiled metallic lettering that says Hyper Real Glow. There is a nice size mirror in here. This doesn't come with a brush or anything like that. I really like the packaging overall. I like that there's a mirror and I like that the top folds over so you can hold it just like this. The only complaint I have is that it comes with this little plastic sheet that has the names of each shade and the names aren't actually printed on the palette itself. I'm not sure if my palettes are just blank on the back because they came as a PR sample. Sometimes the sample packaging is slightly different. Perhaps the actual retail palettes will have the names printed on the back, but these are just completely blank. I hope that this is just a feature of the sample palettes, but I'll just have to wait and see on that. I'll go check these out in store and see if any information is printed on the backs of these. This palette is gonna come in two different colorways. The one with the rose gold lettering is called Flash and Awe. The Flash and Awe palette is probably gonna be most suited towards fair and light skin tones. Each palette has three different shades. These are the three shades from the Flash and Awe palette. The first one is a really bright icy white called Flash and Awe. The second is a silvery pink called Rosy Glow. And the last is a rose gold, almost shifting duochrome kind of color. And this one's called Light of the Party. The gold palette is called Get It Glowin'. This is gonna be more suited for medium to deeper skin tones. These are the shades from the Get It Glowing palette. First, we have a true gold called Gold Coasting. Next is a more champagne color. This is called Get It Glowin'. And lastly, this beautiful bronze shade called Rosy Cheer. I used all six of these highlighting shades on my face today. I used Flash and Awe on my face and then I used Get It Glowin' on my eyes. So I'm gonna show you a quick tutorial using both of these palettes and then I'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end. Let's get started with a little face highlighting. I'm using my ColourPop Small Fluff Brush to apply the shade Flash and Awe all over my cheekbones and can we just take a moment to appreciate this glow? It is incredible! Okay, let's do the other side. Yes, in fact, it does look just as good on this cheekbone as it did on the first one. Love it! I'm gonna take the shade Rosy Glow on my ring finger and I'm just gonna tap a little bit of that on my Cupid's bow and blend it out with a fluffy brush. Then I'm gonna use the shade Light of the Party as a little bit of a blush topper. This is the deepest shade in this palette and it just looks beautiful over a nude blush, maybe a little bit above the eyebrows as well. Now I'm getting started on my eyes, of course, priming my eyes with my all-time favorite eye base. It's my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. Then I'm just gonna quickly set that base with the shade Brulee. For my crease color, I'm using Soft Brown for a nice medium transition shade all through the crease and also taking that same shade along my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna use the shade Swiss Chocolate to add just a little bit of depth on the outer part of my eyelid before going in with the highlighting palette. I took the shade Gold Coasting and just used my fingertip to tap that across the majority of my lid. Then I took that bronze shade called Rosy Cheer on a flat eyeshadow brush and packed that along the outer part of my eyelid. Of course, you gotta get it glowing on that inner corner. I just used a little detail brush and this gave a gorgeous pop. Curled my lashes, added a little bit of Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal, and that's my finished glowy look.
The glow is so real with these palettes. I love the formulation of these highlighters. They are so soft. They're so bright. I loved the way that they looked both on my face and on my eyes as eyeshadow. Barely touch my finger in there and whoo mama. If you use a really light hand, you can get a beautiful, more radiant glow. If you like that super in your face blinding highlight, you can definitely get that too. I think you could turn up the volume even more if if you sprayed a little Fix Plus on top. These little palettes are just the right size. I know I've said in the past I'm not a huge fan of highlighter palettes. It's just too much, it's too overwhelming, too many shades that are not really realistic for me to use. But I think these little three shade palettes are perfect. You can really choose which one is gonna suit your skin tone. If all six of these were in one big palette together, it would probably be too much for me. I really enjoy the size of this little palette and of course the formula is gorgeous. I do like that there's a little mirror in here. My only complaint is that the shade names aren't printed on the packaging. Other than that, I'm a huge fan of these. There's no wasted space in here. The pans are really, really generously sized. I loved how the gold palette looks on my eyes, but I have to say I prefer the Flash and Awe palette. That's the lighter, more pinky toned one. I just think those shades really suit my skin tone, and I absolutely love the way my glow looks looks today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these palettes. Which one's your favorite? Are you going to be picking these up? Leave a comment and let us know. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Did, I mean, Mama. Girl, that glow dough. Just wait until you see these in action. Obviously, you're not gonna have to wait for the review portion of this video. You can tell from like the first five seconds that these are good. Hopefully, everybody watches to the end. Hmm. I should have got a new Coke Zero. We're gonna make it work. This is a true test of being a professional. Can you make videos without caffeine? Probably not. Damn, girl. That pigmentation though. Flash and awe. Flash and awe. Flash and awe. Flash and awe. If you say that a bunch of times, it starts to sound really weird. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. What do this say? Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. Just, oh, oh. Mm. I can't film this video because I keep looking at my highlighter. Yes. <laughs> Calm down. Nope, nope. It's filming time, I cannot talk to you. Mm. My ColourPop lipsticks just got here and I need to take about 3,000 photos of them before I mess them up by swatching them for you guys. Mm. Mm. Look, I have no hair. Oh wait, there it is. Never taking this highlighter off, by the way.